Hey guys, no subscribers guy back again. And today I am doing a modern, a sort of a small modern apartment building complex. So what we're going to need is some dark oak, dark oak wood slabs, dark oak stairs, a, some wool and some grey stained glass panes. I'm going to make a nice sort of apartment building for about, you know, four, five or six or so, like, different buildings, or different people, different, uh, different apartments in the building. <laughs> That's my words then, okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the side of this road, I'm going to move it later with, uh, whatever, MC edit, so that'll be fine, we can move it across later. So we're going to start here, with the dark oak wood planks, I'm going to go one, I'm going to go 14 up, so 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 14, uh, 14, actually take it up to 13 for now. And then I'm going to jump 3 away, so 1, 2, 3, and then go up. So there's a gap of 3 in the middle, and we'll go up again to number 13. All the way up like that. Then grab your slabs, and on the bottom layer, start placing them on the bottom layer. On the bottom layer of each one. So on the next one up, we'll place the bottom layer. So we're getting sort of like liney kind of thing with lines coming across it, which will be which will be our the front of our building, obviously. <laughs> and I quite like the look of this. So I think it's quite nice, and I think it goes quite well with the wood. Uh, not the wood, the wool. Plain wall in this sort of building fashion. It's quite easy, so it's pretty easy to make in survival if you were to do that or anything else like that. But then, yep, we reach the top, then grab some dark oak stairs, place them on the top, and then place another row between those two, like that. So you got this going. I love it. It's a lovely little ladder thing. Alright, so then go one back. And go across, so we are like down only one, so one, two, three, and four, and then back this way is two, three, and four. I'll do the same on the other side, so one, two, three, and four, and two, three, and four. So we got this shit going now. Can you see it? Yep, there you go. We have that shit going. Okay. So then on the corners, we're going to be bringing that up, each, each corner. Like whoop, like that. Now this is actually interesting enough going to be the ground floor. So I'll just fill that in like that and do the same on the other side. Like that. This is where the balcony oh we're gonna put like a again our grey we're gonna put our grey stain claim we'll place it in some sort of like this across in the corner L shape like that. And then we'll do the same for the other side, and that will be like our balconies on our uh, our apartments, because like you see, like most like apartments, flats kind of like balconies. So that'll be ours. So then from this this layer, we'll go one, two, three, four. That's two, three, four, four, and then come across on the fourth layer, and we'll go and replicate that on the same. So that's layer one already done. That's layer two. That's layer three, and that's layer four. And then bring that across. So you're getting this shape going now. Awesome, awesome. Then do a one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, and then across again. We've got another one going. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Three, four, and then across again, like this. That's great. Simple, easy to do. And then one, two, three, and four. And then bring that across, like so. And that'll be off the top of our. It's only a small little kind of out of town sort of apartment block kind of thing. We'll do we'll finish that off on the other side. And then we'll begin to fill the floors in in a second. After we've done the balconies. 
Oops, put that up there too high. Okay, done that there. Grab this, uh, the glass again, the glass panes, the grey stained glass panes. And just start bringing them in the same fashion as before in the balcony. So we're going to have three on the left and three on the right. One, two, three. And then one, two, three. Like so. Okay, pause let you guys catch up there. Simple, alright. Take your dark oak planks again and run around to the other side, onto the left. And then just one, one, two, three, one. And then the same on this side, one, one, two, three, one. And of course, the slabs in the center. So now we're just going to plan the other side of the building, which is going to be pretty much identical all the way around. Then here, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, and four. You've got the corner, another corner inch going in, and the same here one, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, four. And of course, you know what to do like that. So we'll have some sort of a symmetrical building going eventually. <laughs> so I'm just going to bring these side ones all the way up, whoop, all the way up to there. And bring that all whoops daisies all the way up to there as well. Up to that level there. And then dark oak dark oak stairs there. And we'll do the across ones in a sec. they just they take a bit more to do. I'll take a bit more time consuming. So we'll do the fastest stuff first so you guys don't lose interest. <laughs> Hope you don't anyway. To bring these up. Bring these up. And then just go across and start doing that. Do that as fast as I can. Like so. Simple. Sure. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. All right, good, 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 good. We're back on track. We're back on track. The short championship are quite easy. Quite easy, this. And I think it looks nice. Especially in this texture pack, Flows HD. Great, so I have that, and then the uh, obviously the stairs on top are required, and then to and across like that. All right, then we'll run across, we'll do the other side. So, you know, this is this is quite a good build to do in survival because it's pretty easy. Pretty, yeah, it's quite an easy one to do in survival, I think, if you just do it right. So, yeah, teach you guys do what you want. Creative, I think it's quite easy. Oh no, I mucked up. Alright, that, that, that. Okay, there we go. Alright, up a bit. Keep going up. On the, as I said before, it's on the bottom layer, so it's not like up at the top one. Top of a block, it's at the bottom of each block. And I'll just fill this out like so. And then finally, the top one. Finally. Okay, so we've got, uh, we've got three of our four things done. We obviously have our stupid cows mowing. We obviously have our, our floor to fill in here, so one, two, three, four. We'll just fill each corner in because that'll be that is just showing us where the floor is going to be or what the floor where the floor is. The floor is not actually on the floor. Floor, if you get what I'm talking about. The floor is a level up. So the ground floor is here, and then the, the apartment floor is up here. Which I think adds a nice bit of change into there and there. So that's one, two, three, four. Bring that across like that. So it's one, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four. Oh, we put an incorrect block in there. And the sun's right in our face. And finally, one, two, three. Four on the top and across like that. And then the same up here. So two, three, four, and across like so. So this our bonus time to nice uh, take a nice shape now. As I said, it's a it's a small, pretty easy little modern apartment block and it's a sheep doing in here. Away. Away. Oh, poor thing. Alright, so up one, two, three, four, across. 
to here, one, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four. Okay. I'm probably just gonna stop saying it out loud now. To do it in my head. You guys should, in theory, know what to do it up by. So, you know, you can make this out of quartz if you want. But, you know, if you're doing this in survival, then uh, it's going to take a lot more resources to get quartz. And it does wool. It is quite a lot of wool we're using here. Obviously, then, your grey stained. Uh, yeah, grey stained glass panes, long name. Just across like this. In a nice, in a nice sort of a balcony fashion. I reckon what we'll either do is we'll either make this. You'll see what I mean later, later in the uh, later in this episode, or later in this build even. Because this is this is hopefully to give you guys some sort of inspiration. If you want a server or something and want to build some sort of town or city, and this gives you some sort of simple starter inspiration. So we're going up here by. 13, so it's a uh, lost count already. 1, uh, silly me. <laughs> 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay, well, I'm counting correctly. And then, of course, this bit, the most important bit. Struggling to kind of uh, see where there we go. Where I need to put these. The bottom of each, as I said before, bottom of each block. You know, top in no time. And I could, if you have a program like MC Edit, just do like one layer, and then just keep duplicating to get some sort of tower. But this is this is some sort of like small suburban out of just just outside the city centre kind of small apartment block. Very specific, but. <laughs> I think it'll be quite nice. So there we go. And as for these corners in here, we're going to do what we did on the bottom floor and just fill them in. And fill that in like that. And of course, actually I'll do the roof in a sec, so each four corner needs to be filled in first. And then we'll do we'll do the entrance after the after this bit. Yeah, we'll do the entrance and then we'll do the roof. The roof isn't a major priority for now. I'm gonna put the roof's gonna start off basic, but we're gonna probably put a little bit more detail in at a later date. At a later time. So filled in each four. I don't know why I'm putting in the roof corners now. My mind just went into do nothing mode. <laughs> Alright, and then just push it out like that. Good. And same like, oops, same each corner. Bring out the wall or make the wall, the wall floor like so. On each four corners. So then, like as I've done before, minusly just fill the four corner, as in with wall. What jumping about a bit there, like that. So you got that now. I let you guys catch up on this one. It looks like that. It's repetitive all the way around. So, for the entrance. Now, as you can tell, there's no way in. So, right here on this stack thing, we're going to cut ourselves a hole by three by three. Just fill that up. Fill that up. So, the first three layers are uh, finished. You got that. It's going to be dark oak wood stairs, upside down, flat, flat, upside down. Whoops, that's the right way around upside down. So you've got this going. Now I might give it a bit of a nice extra a bit of an extra effect. Bring that out by one. Whoops. Bring this bit out by one. You got that shape going. But it's really up to you. It's really really up to you. Always your choice. There you go. You now here for this sort of lobby area, I'm gonna, I really want to keep the main lobby kind of open, quite open spaced. So what we're gonna have, I've decided, is here is gonna be the bottom floor apartment. 
this whole space from here to here is going to be the downstairs. The apartment. This is going to be the apartment space. Because I said it's going to be a small kind of apartment. It's not really big. It's a small space. You can fit a bedroom and stuff in. That's why earlier I said we might we might have a look at what we're going to be doing with the, the back rooms. The back balcony. We might be turning that instead into some sort of... Filling this totally in with glass. Get what I mean? Catch my drift. And we'll turn it into some sort of bedroom or something. Or another room. Instead of just a balcony area. So just... So what I'm going to do now is just filling up the layers of the floor where the apartment floor is. Each individual apartment floor is. And then we're going to go along and fill up behind there with glass. Uh, glass not glass pane, but glass. Glass. Just standard glass. Grey stained glass. And it seems like I forgot to fill in this corner, but I'm doing it now, so it doesn't matter. And that's the top apartment. That's where the roof is, but we'll do the roof in a sec. So, yep, I'm disorientated. <laughs> Alright. Good to know that I'm always getting stuck and lost on this. So as you can see, quite a lot of builds are quite time consuming. They do take quite a while to do. So I guess I'll make this a two part episode. I've only been running for about 15 minutes, so no biggie yet. And then, as I said, we'll watch out for that. So let's get some uh, grey glass. Glass, glass, glass. Cannot tell in this texture pack. Uh, glass. Where is it? Light grey stained glass? Grey stained glass. And we'll just fill them in here so, like, it's not exposed to the elements through the ore. Through there. But you can have that open if you want. Gives you kind of a little bit extra room, but not much to be honest. As you know, yep. There, I only go three high on the top one, because you know it all depends on what the roof's going to be made out of. So across like that, across like that, and across like that. Okay. And do that for the next few layers. So our, our apartment's starting to take shape. Okay, like that. Now I've obviously thought we need to. Con we'll probably have some sort of stairs at the back to get up to your apartment. Back here, but we'll come to that. We'll come to that when we'll come to that bridge when we cross it, as I say. Terribly. <laughs> all right, so finish the glass up here, and then I think that's. Uh, I guess we'll have time for an episode one of the uh, of this apartment build. So it's glass like that. Glass like that. Do, 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 Done. And done there. Okay. So we've got our glass now in on the internal bits. That's what it looks like from the outside there. So I think it gives it quite a nice little shimmer. A bit of shine. But the front one I'm going to leave open. And the back one as well. So that is it for part one. Hope you've enjoyed. I hope you're building along as well. Build your own, build your own one of these as well. You and your guys, you and your buddies on Survivor can come live in here. But that's for all from me for today. I hope you've enjoyed. Uh, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And you know, I've been the No Subscribers guy, and well, thank you for watching.